Hi, welcome to Baristan. We are both going to talk about Pilak or Indian Golden Oriole today. Indian Golden Oriole is, as you already must have guessed, is known as Pilak in India. Uh, Pilak name suggests it looks yellow. Pila mm -hmm. is yellow in Hindi and thus the name comes Pilak. It also called P Pila Maina because of it resembling with the common maina in India. Mm -hmm. uh, Indian Golden Oriole looks very distinct. There is no way a person can miss the bird if you've seen it. It's as simple as that because they look so bright and vibrant. They can be mistaken for Eurasian Golden Oriole. Yes, only with Eurasian Golden Oriole. But once you spot the bird, you will have seen it because it looks yellow and black. Unlike other birds that camouflage well in the trees, this does not camouflage well. So it looks bright yellow. It's brightly yellow, uh, yellow plumage. Almost the entire body is yellow, apart from the black patches around the eyes. Uh, literally black mask around the eyes and then the wings will have black color with yellow patches the same yellow color that is there on the entire plumage and upper tail coverts of the as well as the tail parts of the uh, bird is blackish the below bird uh, or the front of the bird or the under parts of the bird is completely yellow and that that at bright yellow the female and the male are dimorphic so they both look different Although when you see them together, you know this is a male and female or they both belong to the same family uh, because the female is paler in color but has similar features as the male, right mm. Max? It will have the black patches but very faded black patch. The color of the plumage is also paler yellow with tinge of green to it. So it actually looks when sun is reflecting on the female golden oriole, it looks actually like golden color. Unlike the male, the male actually look yellow, but the female looks golden in color. Mm. Uh, I actually pictured uh, or photographed one myself from our window. I've seen both of them. Both uh, male and the female used to be frequent visitors uh, until few months ago. This season they have not come uh, in the summer for some reason. They, they have not the whole been. year. Yeah, but last year they visited, I think, uh, till... November, December, they used to come. Uh, the male would come almost every they evening. They say that they are partially migratory. They must have migrated to Sri Lanka. Maybe. Maybe they may have gone southward. I don't know. Uh, but uh, last few months, I have not been able to see them. But when you see them, they are very good to look at too. Uh, their beak is uh, medium-sized, uh, curved beak. That is deep pink color. So it's like blood, how blood reflects from a bone. It looks like that. So it's deep pink color beak that both of them have and eyes are brightly red color. So this is how you identify male and female golden, uh, Indian golden oriole. That is called Pilak in India. Uh, the juveniles will look very similar to the female. All right, Max. While the size of the bird or the length of the bird is between 24 to 25 centimeters and it weighs between 60 to 95 grams and the speed of the bird is also known by people that would be approximately 40 kilometers per hour. Point 0.2. Okay, point 0.2 to be added. The female is, is dull and golden in color. More golden than the male there has some markings and the best straight black lines. <laughs> And True. also, they may have a small amount of grey feathers on their eyes coming yeah. from the beak yeah. and ear. Yeah. And the red eyes can be seen more clearly in the female than of that mm. of the male. Yes, because of the bright, light mm. colours that mm. are around the eyes. Mm. Yes, sir. And the black patches, unlike the male, on the female it is really faded. So it's probably more not grayish. in there also. Yeah, it, we, we cannot call it black, we will call it grayish patches on the wings, not black at all. According to the paler color of the entire plumage, the black color turns grayish in the female. This is how you can spot Indian Golden Oriole. Indian Golden Oriole is uh, not known for its sound that way uh, because hardly you can hear it making any sounds. Uh, although it has melodious whistle-like call that it makes, but it mostly is not seen making calls. It's mostly silent. Uh, either the male will be there in, uh, at some point or the female will be there at some point. They do, both don't 
come together uh, or are sighted together and they do not communicate much. So they are found individually and hardly communicating or chirping like other birds do. Indian Golden Oriole is found all across India. In fact, in the entire Indian subcontinent. This is forest, mangroves, yes. suburban gardens, cultivated areas and more. Yes, it is found in thorny forest as well or uh, among thorny trees and deciduous forests. Uh, also open forests it can be found in. It also can be found in urban gardens and parks uh, depending upon uh, how many trees are around. It likes to hide itself instead of being uh, you know spotted by people or by other predators. It's shy as well as is uh, I can say timid in nature when it comes to a bird, uh, especially the male. The female can be found more easily than the male. Male, although it is brightly colored, it is very difficult to spot the Indian golden oriole because it likes to hide itself well instead of being all over the place or being seen by people. So it likes to live in places where lesser noise or you know lesser birds, lesser people or lesser activities are around. Mm. That is how you can probably spot them or not spot them uh, if you are lucky enough just like uh, we, we have been it used to come at a silent time of early evening it would visit uh, and uh, I knew the timing because uh, almost every day it came literally almost around the same time uh, before sunset uh, um, I think at that time it was uh, sleeping in one of the trees and it had spotted that tree so it would come it would sit around for some time here and there and then quietly before you would notice it had gone gone to the tree that it was sleeping in or spending the night and that is how the behavior was so it would come sit around a little bit here and there and then quietly go to the tree and after that you could not spot it so that is how secretive or you know well hidden they can be when it comes to uh, we finding them it would be difficult to find but they are found all over Indian subcontinent their numbers are not few they are all over the place the typical diet of Indian golden oriole is bugs Fruits like mango, yeah. berries, figs, neem, mm -hmm. and so on. Insects as well. So Indian golden oriole, just like its color, it also likes mangoes. Especially mango is mentioned uh, for its uh, one of the choices for food. As well as it can feed on many, many uh, vertebrates, invertebrates. Small invertebrates. Lizards. Yeah. Uh, small insects to fruits everything it can feed on so there is a variety of uh, or a lot of choices for food when it comes to the diet of Indian golden oriole and the availability of these uh, I whether the fruits or insects is throughout the year so I um, uh, I assume that uh, because of food they may not have to travel or they may not have to uh, migrate or go to another place although Eurasian golden orioles do migrate and they come to India but Indian golden uh, golden oriole uh, Indian golden orioles are not known to be migratory uh, there was an instance when uh, Indian golden oriole was moving from place to place place to place and it was found far away from India in the uh, Middle Eastern country uh, that was uh, pretty unusual for the bird because the bird does not travel that far it can go from small uh, you know uh, uh, small locations or it can travel little bit within the country or within the region but it does not cross that in much. certain cases they have been reached a different country altogether yes in their migration for food not exact migration they make movements according to food some go into different countries mm -hmm. so they, they are non migratory but at the same time they are partially migratory How do they make their nests and what exactly is part of their breeding pattern or breeding season? Uh, while the breeding season is between April to August max, their uh, nest is built mainly by the female but the male brings the nesting mm. material or nest building material. Their nest typically looks like a bag. So when you look at the nest, it's a, a, a unique bird nest kind of a bag which is hanging from uh, almost towards the edge of the branch uh, on the outer side and it's like a bag. 
the male does not build a nest female builds the nest alone the male only brings a cob web and bark to the female for building a nest and fibers yes a lot of fibers they the incubation use. period lasts 15 to 18 days the young fledge in 20 days both the parents feed and incubate the young true uh, mainly the female incubates the egg that is uh, the period of 15 mm. to 18 days but the male uh, participates in care and uh, feeding process a lot They're so on the gamers yeah both parents do the feeding as well as uh, taking care of the young ones uh, while uh, in nest building one of the things or criteria they always keep in mind is it's a bag it's a bag <laughs> also in the vicinity of black drongos mm. they like to build their nest in the in the same area or locality where the black drongos are found because they take care of predators and because the black drongos are predators of the predators i can say uh, they are not scared of other big birds they can take on other birds and uh, golden uh, indian golden orioles are known to be residing next to black drongos because of this kind of protection because the uh, predators will not attack that area where the black drongo nest is so they like to be with someone who is a more like a, a dominating person or dominating birds just to get little protection mm-hmm. from others yes we can talk about the threats of the indian golden owl the indian golden owl is threatened by sequoias and crows mm-hmm. then these concern even though they prey upon the sequoias and crows mm-hmm. certain blood parasites have been found in them oh wow <laughs> blood parasites are common among birds and can be a threat uh, while the life span of the bird is eight between 8 to 12 years. years yes that's a good life life span for indian golden oriole uh, so these are some of the details of indian golden oriole uh, you can find many such articles on birdistan.com about individual birds that we have been writing uh, in the videos certain things can be missed out but in the articles you will find all the details and you can read it at your own sweet time do visit birdistan.com